Uh, hello and greetings from Crow Petro Forever. Uh, this is the first time I'm uh, doing a video like this when you can see me in person. But I always uh, wanted to do a video, videos like this, uh, where I would talk about uh, various basketball uh, subjects. Uh, what I had in mind is that I would uh, now make a few videos where I would compare two players uh, uh, and uh, which one uh, is or was uh, a better player uh, in my opinion. So in this case I would uh, like to compare two European basketball legends Sasha Djordjevic and Miloš Teodosic. Uh, Serbian basketball players uh, and I find this uh, debate very very interesting uh, I have a great respect for both of players I think they're unique in their own regard uh, but uh, overall overall uh, I will make my judgment right away uh, I, to me personally uh, Miloš Teodosic is overall slightly better is slightly better player. Uh, as maybe you know from my basketball uh, mixes, I'm great fan of old school basketball. So in most of the cases, I I would pick uh, a player from uh, older generations, means uh, older era of basketball. Uh, of, of basketball in general, but in this case, I think uh, I will. I'm sure I, I'm picking uh, Miloš Teodosic over Sasha Djordjevic. Uh, I think Miloš Teodosic is a much much better passer uh, than uh, than uh, Sasha Djordjevic. Maybe Sasha Djordjevic was a slightly better shooter but not much better. I, I think overall they are something on the same level when it comes about it. So both of them uh, have great sh uh, shooting from three-point uh, positions uh, for three points and for uh, from uh, mid-range uh, when it comes about uh, mid-range shooting. Uh, but overall I think that uh, Miloš Teodosic is a slightly uh, better player overall and much much better uh, when it comes about assists and passes. Uh, also uh, I would like uh, to add uh, that in my opinion uh, Miloš has a slightly higher basketball IQ on, on the court. Uh, also uh, so, uh, also, I would like to add something very important, uh, which b b uh, which is very important to me uh, for picking uh, Miloš over uh, Sasha, and that's uh, the fact that uh, Sasha Djordjevic played with uh, phenomenal, phenomenal players uh, in Serbian national team. Uh, players like uh, Dejan Budiroga, Željko Rebrača, Vlade Divac, uh, uh, Paspal, uh, those were all stars. If you would pick any of them from their prime time and if you would place them in any of today uh, European teams, they would all be uh, stars number one in those teams. So he played with the golden generation of Serbian players. He was also the uh, same star as them, but uh, Miloš Teodosic didn't uh, have, and still he doesn't have, that kind of players around him. And yet Miloš Teodosic uh, was able to bring uh, many medals, silver medals, uh, to Serbia uh, on Euro Cups, uh, means on Eurobaskets, uh, on uh, World Cups uh, and on Olympic Games. So I can only imagine what would Serbia do with Miloš Teodosic if he played with that golden 
Serbian generation. If he has done something like this with the players which he had and he and which he has around him and now. So um I don't know will you agree or disagree with me. I just think uh uh, that this is an interesting uh, debate and uh, if you disagree of course I respect that also I would just like to add that maybe Sasha Djordjevic was a uh, b uh, better uh, best basketball killer you know uh, and then Miloš Tadosic in terms that uh, Sasha would uh, score in the last second uh, and uh, he was he had that mentality to score in the last second he was like uh, i don't know uh european um, <laughs> reggie miller in that, in that regard uh, but overall um uh, i'm picking uh miloš teodosic over him when i said uh, that uh, sasha georgievich is a uh, slightly better shooter than miloš teodosic uh, i don't think I don't think overall that he was a he was a better shooter. That's why I said it uh, slightly better shooter. I think that there are something uh, on the same level when it comes about shooting. But uh, Miloš Teodosic is much more a complete player uh, uh, in my opinion and uh, much better passer, uh, much much better passer, and he makes a uh, team better. In my opinion, he makes team better. Because he didn't had uh, and he doesn't have uh, players like uh, Sasha Djordjevic had uh, around him. Uh, that's my opinion. Uh, maybe some of you will disagree. Maybe some of you will say you can compare them two because they are different type of players. But to me personally, this 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 is a very interesting question and in the end they played uh, and Miloš is still playing on the same position uh, so I was always interested in uh, basketball uh, discussions uh, such as this one and uh, if you have a su suggestion for me to for uh, some other comparison uh, please let me know in uh, a comment section and I will uh, say my opinion uh, about this about uh, two players who would you want me to compare with each uh, other uh, thank you one more time for watching uh, uh, this video and every other uh, video I made uh, um, uh, my mixes uh, and thank you for your uh, subscriptions and your love for uh, my uh, mix uh, mixtape vid videos and I wish you all a good evening or good day and uh, depends uh, from what which uh, which country on the globe you are at this moment and I know this this is my first vid video like this when you see me in person, uh, I will try to do better in uh, my next videos. This this was like a test video uh, in this fashion. So uh, I will do, I, I will do uh, be better in next one. Next ones uh, I will prepare uh, better. I just wanted to do something like this for the first time. So uh, greets for you all. Greets to all. Croatian basketball fans, to all Serbian basketball fans, to all Spaniard basketball fans, to all American basketball fans, uh, Greece to all basketball fans around the world, uh, from your uh, truly Cro Petra forever. Uh, and one more time, thank you for watching. Bye.